Brewers, and welcome to our first ever installment of our new member education seminars. Uh, my name is Devin. I'm the manager of learning and development here at Blue Ox Credit Union, and I'll be here with you today to talk about digital banking solutions. So to give you a little context behind this new initiative, uh, the member education seminars is going to be a project that will be continuing throughout the year where we give you, the members, some additional insight on some of the products and services we offer, what they are, what they do, how to take advantage of them, and how they might be beneficial to you. Our end goal for this is for you, our member, to get the most value out of your Blue Ox relationship as you possibly can. And we realize that we have a lot of different products and services, and there can be a lot of information to sift through when trying to determine which is gonna be best for your individual banking needs. So our thought is let's bring that information directly to you. We'll give you some tips on how to best utilize the products and services you're already using and introduce some others that you may not be using so you can decide how best to maximize your relationship and let us know how we can serve you best. So again, I wanna say thank you to everyone who RSVP'd for our first session. I wanna encourage you to stay on the lookout on our social media channels as we announce future seminar sessions and I want to invite you to let us know if there's a specific topic that you would like to see us cover, because we would love to include it. Now, as mentioned at the beginning here, our first seminar uh, today will be on digital banking solutions. Now, from online and mobile banking to ITMs to bill pay and so on, this is a really exciting topic because there is just so much that we offer. So what we're going to do in this presentation, we're going to take each individual product or service that fits under that digital solutions umbrella and give you a high level description of what it does, how to utilize it, and why it might be beneficial for you. That being said, there is a lot of ground to cover here. So if there is any questions that you have that I don't address in the presentation, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be thrilled to answer whatever question you have. Um, you're, of course, welcome to stop into any of our branch locations, ask any of our staff, we'd be happy to answer. You can also give us a call. Of course, our number 1-800-648-8035. You may not know, but that number is actually text compatible as well. So if you prefer texting over calling, you can take that same number that you would call and send it a text message and we can text respond back to you that way if that's what you prefer. Or if you prefer email, you can also shoot us an email at contact us at blueoxcu.org. So no shortage of ways to get a hold of us. If you do have any questions after this seminar, please don't hesitate to reach out. We would love to answer. So the first product that we're going to be talking about is mobile and online banking. So if you know nothing else about the service, you've never used it at all, you probably know at least that either from your smartphone or from your home computer or laptop, online or mobile banking will allow you to access and view your accounts 24-7, 365. And that is true but there's a lot more under the hood that is offered there. You are able to review your transaction activity in real time. You are able to view previous statements, you can make loan payments, you can transfer funds between your accounts. You can see our current loan and savings rates. You can apply for a new loan. You can open up a new check in your savings account. You can manage your cards. Let's say you, you know, you're traveling and uh, you look in your wallet and you see your debit card's not there anymore. You can place it on a temporary hold so it will not approve any purchases until you found it and remove that lock. And you know that's just scratching the surface of what online banking could do. So there's a lot that you can uh, utilize this exciting service for. So depending on how you prefer to access your accounts, all, uh, whether it's your smartphone or your computer, we'll kind of give you a little bit of an introduction on how to navigate each. But it's important to note that the username and password that you create for online or mobile banking is the same on each. So it, this is really just a matter of preference, uh, whether you prefer using your phone or computer. The access is the same for all of our members, right? You're going to put in the same user ID and password, regardless of which way you choose. It's just a matter of which you prefer. So starting with the smartphone option, if you want to access your accounts via your smartphone, you'll have to get our app installed in your phone. So our free app is available on all of the uh, smartphone retailers, right? So if you have an iPhone, you would go to the App Store versus if you had an Android device, you would go to the uh, Google Play Store. From there, you type in Blue Ox Credit Union as it appears on screen, and you'll see us appear at the top there. You'll know it's us by our lo logo. You'll install that on your phone, and then from there, you'll be able to log into your accounts. Now, if you're gonna be accessing it from your computer or your laptop, desktop, 
you can simply head over to our website, which is blueoxcu.org. And then right on the main page towards like the center right hand side, you'll see the username and uh, password entry section, which will allow you to log into your account. Now, if you have never, never before logged into online banking, you will have to get in touch with the staff member at first. So one of us can do the initial activation for you and walk you through the first sign on. But then once that's established, it is entirely self-service from there. So, of course, if you do find yourself locked out, we're happy to reset that for you. You can always let us know. But you can also do that, that from home 24-7, 365. So let's say that you forgot your password or you made a couple typos when trying to put it in and you ended up locking yourself out. At any time of day, you can utilize the forgot password feature and reset your own access. So if you're watching this from home and you're like, oh, I, you know, I did sign up for online banking one time before and I, I don't remember what the password is, that's okay. If you remember your username, you can just do the forgot password section. You should be able to get in from there. But of course, if you're having any difficulties, please let us know in person over the phone and we'll be happy to help you. Next, we're taking a look at our iTeller machines or ITMs, which stands for Interactive Tellers. So these you probably notice have been stationed outside of our branches for some time now, a couple of years. Um, but if you haven't used them before, we'll give you a little introduction on how they work. So these are dual feature machines that work as an ATM and an ITM at all times. So if you have a quick and easy transaction, you need to just grab $20 in cash. At any time, regardless of whether we're open, you can visit the machine, put in your debit card, and use it as a standard ATM. However, there is the additional feature that's available during business hours uh, that will allow you to video chat with a Blue Ox employee in real time to assist you through that transaction. So to use that feature, all you'll have to do is simply tap the screen instead of putting into your card, and then that'll put you in line uh, for one of our iTeller specialists who are uh, who work out of our Portage I branch location. The next available will pop up on your screen, and they will be able to assist you through the transaction. So, just in a hypothetical example of when this might be useful, let's say you are coming to the ITM to deposit some checks, uh, and then you ask the teller, the iTeller, at the end, what what your balance is, and they give it to you, and maybe it's a little lower than you were expecting. You could then ask that iTeller uh, to review your last few transactions with you to make sure that nothing unauthorized came out. Or if you're doing, you know, your standard business, you know, taking out some cash and you have a specific denomination of bills that you would like, right? A machine can't do that itself. However, an iTeller can. So you can let them know your bill preference and they should be able to get that to you. So just a quick summary of what you can do with the ITM machines. Uh, you can make deposits and withdrawals. Uh, you know, you can make cash or check deposits and cash withdrawals. You can make loan payments. You can cash or deposit checks. You can transfer funds between your accounts and you can request account maintenance uh, from the iTeller on the other side of the screen uh, or ask some questions. They should be able to help you out with most matters that you need assistance on. Very knowledgeable and friendly staff that's uh, happy to help with any of your requests. Next, we have online bill pay. So to really drive home the benefit of this one, I want you to think about all the bills that you have to pay on a monthly basis. So you probably have like some kind of housing payment, rent or mortgage, maybe a car payment, maybe a credit card or two, and you got your power bill, your internet, your cell phone, um, gas and water, trash, maybe a gym membership, student loans, and so on. Start adding them up together. I think it's reasonable to assume that a lot of us have like at least 10 bills that we are paying on a month by month basis. So that means that we have 10 different amounts to keep track of, and we have 10 different due dates to keep track of, and we also have 10 different companies to keep track of. Right? Even if you are paying you know, online, you've got 10 different websites you have to visit and 10 different sets of logins that you have to remember every month to pay them. Or if you're mailing out by check, you've got 10 different addresses that you have to keep track of, and you have to rip out 10 different checks out of your checkbook every month to send them to 10 different directions. So that's a lot for one human brain to, to keep up with on a month by month basis, and that is where online bill pay steps in. So what bill pay allows you to do is access all, of, or centralize, I should say, all of your bills to one location, and that is your Blue Ox mobile or online banking login and you can manage all of your bills from there. So an example of how this works, let's say I have a phone bill with AT&T. 
I can go to the bill pay section of online banking. I can add a new bill and I'll put an ATT as a name. I'll put in the amounts of my phone bill and then I will put in the address on there that uh, the at and would accept check payments. Now, once that's all set, all I have to do is hit send and then Blue Ox will send a check for me right to at and So I don't have to log into their website and I don't have to use a check of my own to pay them. <clears throat> now, the excuse me, the next month, right, if I have to pay my phone bill again, BillPay will remember the information that I already put in there last month. Now, if for whatever reason my bill amount had changed, I can go back and edit the amount before sending it. Or if everything's the same, I can just hit send again and we'll send the same check as last month. Even more, I can actually make this as an automatic payment as well. So where my bill pay is going to send a check automatically for the designated amount to the designated recipients on a designated date. So it's completely self-service. Uh, that's a that's a exciting feature of this to me at least because I know you know in the modern era there's a lot of subscription charges and a lot of vendors are pushing auto pay which is great uh, but the problem is sometimes they make it so hard to cancel that auto pay right you you know you can get it set up in 30 seconds but if you ever need to cancel it you got to call them and wait on hold and sign a form if you ever have something set up to automatic payments on bill pay and it gets to the point where you need to cancel that automatic payment it is just as easy as a click of a button, hit and cancel. Then we're going to make sure that next payment does not go out. We don't have to have you jump through any kind of hoops or, um, you know, extend process just to cancel a payment that you don't need going out anymore. So some additional uh, benefits of this saves you time and money, right? You don't have to log in to 10 different websites. And if you are a check writer, this can save you a lot of money on, you know, buying a checkbook. Right, these this is a completely free service. You do not have to, you know, pay for a checkbook. The checks are completely complimentary. They're sent out on us. You don't have to buy stamps. You don't have to buy envelopes. We take care of all of that for you. As mentioned, you can establish recurring payments if you'd like. Um, you can also authorize checks to be mailed to individuals. So I used to use this back in the day when I rented from a private landlord. Uh, landlord, she preferred to have checks, uh, but the problem was I wasn't a big check writer, so I didn't have a checkbook that I needed to have that I you know, could rip a check from and mail or a check to every month. What I did instead was to use my online bill pay. I put in her name, her address, and the amount of my rent, and then I set it up automatically to go to my landlord individually the first of every month. That way I didn't have to buy a checkbook. She gets paid automatically uh, right on time at the first of every month. Easy and convenient for everyone involved. Bill pay also allows you to view a register of outgoing checks, uh, which is helpful because we know that not everyone will cash their checks right away when they receive them, which can make it more difficult to, to really balance your checkbook and figure out what you've got in your account. Um, bill pay is also a really handy tool for that because it will tell you the outgoing, you know, paid or unpaid status of each bill that you have sent out. Next, we have mobile deposit. So. This one is going to be exclusive to the mobile app, right? It does uh, require the use of your cell phone camera, so it's not going to be available on the desktop site. Uh, but what this is, is a service that allows you to deposit the checks that you receive right from your smartphone without having to go drive to the branch or visit the ICN. Very, very easy uh, service to use. To do so, all you got to do is navigate to the mobile deposit section of the Blue Ox mobile app. It will guide you through all these instructions, right? There's a specific endorsement you got to write on the back. But after that, all you got to do is snap a picture of it, front of the check and back of the check, uh, making sure it's legible and, you know, with a you know, clear blank background, make sure it's, you know, it's easy for it to read. And then once that's done, all you have to hit submit and then the process is over. Funds will be available in your account per the standard funds availability schedule, and you will have gotten to save yourself a trip to the branch or the ITM uh, to deposit that check. Next, we have e-statements or electronic statements. So by law, as a member of a financial institution, you are required to receive a formal account statement summary on a periodic basis, which is either going to be quarterly or monthly, depending on what kind of accounts you have. And, you know, that statement has to have, you know, be on letterhead and indicate everything that went in and out of your account throughout that statement period. And you have two options of how you would like those statements to be delivered to you. You can either get them on paper where we will physically print out the statement and mail it to your designated address. 
or you can get an e-statement where we will send a digital like PDF copy directly to your online banking. Now, whatever way you go for, the statement themselves are going to be completely identical, right? If you looked at your e-statement and pulled it up and then printed it off on paper and you held it against the paper statement, you'll notice they're identical replicas, right? The e-statement is the identical replica of what we would send you on paper if you had opted for paper statements. But there are quite a few benefits for opting towards e-statements over their paper statement counterparts. First one is the cost. Paper statements do incur a service fee from most of our members. E-statements, on the other hand, are completely free of charge. So simply switching over to e-statements, like I said, you'll retain the same statement that you would have normally, but you can save up to $60 a year just by making that switch. Second is the security aspect. If we are printing out a statement and mailing it to you, uh, you know, on paper to your address, you know, it has to touch a lot of human hands, right? It has to go to the mail room and it has to be sorted at the post office and then to your delivery person. And there's a lot of opportunity for error for that to end up in the wrong hands, even if it's completely accidentally. And what we need to remember is that your statement is not just a summary of the account activity. It's also a document that has your name and your address and your account number on it. And we want to make sure that that is protected as possible. With e-statements, the unauthorized access is far, far less likely because instead of just giving it in an enclosed envelope to you know, the post office, your e-statement is locked behind your online banking. It is protected by the username and password that you have created, and it is not able to be viewed unless both of those are entered correctly. Then the last uh, benefit that I would point out here is the record keeping aspect. So if you're looking at your online banking transaction activity, that can be a very helpful tool, but it is limited in how far it goes back. You know, when I used to work with members in, in previous roles, around tax season would come up and I would sometimes have questions for members like, hey, I need to know if I got this first stimulus payment back like a year or two ago. And by that point, online banking transaction activity no longer had record of that payment. These statements, however, if you are enrolled, will save in your online banking for up to two years. So you can travel back in time further than what online banking transaction activity will get you to so you can see those former transactions also it on your december statement is where we'll usually put in tax information like your, your 1099 interest statement um so that can be helpful to retrieve in a moment's notice rather than having to look out in the mail to get that documentation um, sent to us sent from us so if you are not yet enrolled in each statement but would like to be here are the steps that you'll want to follow to switch your enrollment status First thing you want to get yourself logged into online banking. This does have to be done on the desktop version on the site rather than the mobile app. Once you are logged in, you want to find the member services tab and under that click e statements. Then from there, you'll click enrollment preference, then click enroll for e statements. Then there'll be a quick disclosure that you'll have to read and agree to. And once you've acknowledged that, there's a final button that says enroll now. And once you click that, the process is all done. If you were incurring a service charge for paper fees, that will immediately cease for the next month. And then all your future statements will be delivered electronically to your e receipts, or excuse me, to your e statement section of your online banking. Now, once you have enrolled, here's the instructions on how to view your e statements. And this you can do on both de the desktop site and the mobile app. So, starting with the desktop site, you again want to get yourself logged in and again head over to the member services tab and click e-statements. Now, once you're there, you'll be prompted to pick what kind of statement you're looking for. Now, most of our accounts will go on a combined statement. So for example, your savings, your checking, your car loan, your CD, that will all be on one combined membership statement. But credit cards and mortgages specifically will have their own statements. So if you have one of those accounts, you'll have the ability to view those separately. Otherwise, you're just going to be all in one. But at any rate, you will click the statement that you're looking for, and then that will bring you up to the, the month and year of the statement. So as I mentioned uh, previously, these can save for up to two years. So if I'm logging in you know, now on April 16th, I can go back to March statement. I can go back to February and so on. But whatever I'm looking for, I can click that month and year for the statement I'm looking for, and then I'll give it a moment. It'll appear on my screen. 
um, I can view it just right from my device, or if I, you know, if I need to print it or save it to my computer, I can do so as well. With the mobile app, the steps are pretty similar. We're going to get ourselves logged into the latest version of the app. Then once we're logged in, we're going to tap the more option in the lower left hand corner, excuse me, lower right hand corner of the screen. Then in that menu will be an option for e-statements. Again, we're going to be asked to select the type of statement we're looking for if there's multiple. Then again, we're going to select the date we'd like to view and we'll be able to do so on our screen. Now, one thing we want to keep in mind when it comes to e-statements, it does require a valid email address on file to be enrolled in e-statements because that's how we're able to let you know that your new statement is available. So obviously email addresses do change from time to time. If you have an outdated email address and have e-statements, it's very important that you make sure it's updated. Luckily though, this is something that you can do from home. So once you are in online banking, uh, there is an option uh, for, under the info center for my preferences uh, that you can go to and update your personal information. You can update your email address there um, in addition to your physical address, your code word, any other your personal information that you need to update as it changes. Next, we have pay anyone. So pay anyone is another free service and it's incredibly useful and it's available for all of our members with a checking account. Um, and what pay anyone is, is a way to transfer money between between peers. So for example, if you had a friend that covered your cost of dinner, you can pay them back for your portion of the bill using pay anyone. So not very dissimilar from something like a Zelle or Cash App or PayPal, but the difference is it doesn't require the recipient to be enrolled in any specific service. And better yet, we actually don't even need to know that recipient's account number. All we need to know is their email address or phone number. And we can uh, send the money right directly through our online banking or mobile app. They will typically receive it within one to three days, but often can receive it as quickly as same day. Now to get started with this, if we are, <clears throat> excuse me, using the desktop site, all right, we'll of course get logged in. We'll hover over the pay and transfer menu at the top, then select pay anyone in the drop down, then select send new payment. It will then walk you through the steps here as far as putting in the recipient's information. They like said it can be sent either email or phone number. Um, and then you also set up a security question that the recipient will have to answer in order to prove that they were the intended party for the transfer. As for the mobile app, the steps are pretty similar. You want to make sure that you're logged into the app. And then on the navigation bar, you will tap the option that says move money. Then from there, you can select pay anyone. And then again, you'll be prompted with all um, the following prompts on the screen that you'll need to complete in order to, to uh, complete your transfer. Next, we have A to A or account to account transfers. So this is a great way to make your relationships convenient between multiple financial institutions. So for example, if you have a checking and savings in Blue Ox, but then you also have a checking or savings or even both at a different financial institution, an A2A relationship is a way that we can bridge those two accounts together so you can seamlessly transfer to and from each of them via your online banking here at Blue Ox. So these are very simple to set up. This one does require staff involvement, at least just at the front end. Um, so in order to bridge that relationship between your account here and elsewhere, um, a member service advisor here on the Blue Ox team We'll simply just need to validate the um, the account information with a statement of yours. So you provide us the account and routing number of the other account at another institution and provide us a statement with your name on it and that same account number. We'll validate uh, that it also belongs to you. And then from there, we'll have you sign a quick form and then we will bridge those two accounts together via your online banking. How that looks on your side is the next time you log into your online banking, once this is set up, you'll be able to see, of course, your um blue ox checking and savings but then you'll have the additional option to transfer to and from your you know comerica account or a calci account or wherever else you chose to set this up uh, so again this is kind of like online bill pay where it prevents the need from having to log into to multiple institutions and multiple different um, places streamlining your transfers all in one place allowing you to move move money not just between your blue ox accounts but also between your accounts at other institutions um, conveniently all from one centralized location next we have text banking so text banking is a secure and easy way to 
account balances, and you can do so even quicker than it would take to log into your online or mobile banking. So the text banking service uses an automated response system. So you can send a simple text message prompt to, uh, to a designated number. And then within seconds, you'll be able to get your account balances in near real time. And what's more is that the text messages you receive from text banking will contain confidential information like your full account number. So that way, if you ever lost your phone and your text messages ended up in the wrong hands, you don't have the risk of your full account number sitting in your inbox. Now, if this is something that you're interested in setting up, we actually dedicated a whole piece of our website to uh, instructions on it. So you can visit blueoxcu.org slash text hyphen banking, and that will give you some how-to videos on how to set it up, as well as a list of commands you can utilize with the service. Next, we have e-alerts and e-notices. So e-alerts gives you a great option to receive near real-time notification when a certain activity happens in your account. And what you would like to be notified of is determined by you. So from example, here are some things that we can set up an alert for. Uh, we can set up an alert for a account balance threshold. So if you want to be notified anytime that your balance falls below $200 or anytime that your balance is more than $500, you're able to set up those preferences. And then whenever that condition is met, that will trigger an alert to be sent. And we will send you an email to let you know, hey, your account balance is below or above the amount that you had indicated that you wanted to be notified of. You can also set an e-alert to where we will remind you when your loan payment is due, or you can even set up a, um, a, an e-alert for us to notify you anytime you have a direct deposit that's pending into your account or an ACH debit pending out of your account. Now to set these up, again, this is something that you can set up either within online banking or the mobile app. So to start, if you were using the online banking, so the desktop version of the site, you would simply log in, head over to the member services tab, and this time click e-alerts. Then you'd create, uh, click on create new alert. Then you'll be given a list of the types of alerts that you can set up. You'd pick the one that you were interested in, customize it to your, to your liking, then hit submit and you will be all set. If you're on the mobile app, process is not much different. You would get yourself logged in on the app. You would click that more option at the bottom navigation bar. From that menu, you would tap e-alerts, then select create new alerts. Then you would follow the same steps we just described. You would pick the alert that you wanted and customize it to your liking. All right, and our final digital solution that we wanted to bring to your attention this afternoon is the Vantage score. So right from your online or mobile banking, you are able to access your credit score, which is refreshed quarterly. And it's going to be the same credit score that we have most recently for you for that quarter. Now, like I said, it doesn't update in real time, but it does update automatically on a quarterly basis. So again, this is something that you can access via the desktop site or the mobile app. If you are on the desktop site, you get yourself logged in and back to that member services tab and this time click review credit score. Now, if you're on your mobile app, similar steps, you'd get yourself logged in. Then you would uh, navigate to the more option in the navigation uh, panel at the bottom. And then you would tap so review credit score. Now, as we draw to a close on our presentation, we want to remind you that you know, we are well aware that we live in a very digital world. And with that comes a lot of new products and services uh, that allow us to do our banking a lot more conveniently and efficiently than we ever did before but also introduce the you know, increased risk of bad actors and cyber attacks. The Blue Ox takes your financial security and your personal data extremely seriously. So as an additional measure, we wanna make sure that you all are educated as well on different ways that you can help protect your financial security and data security. So we do keep a regular blog that you can visit on our website, blueoxu.org slash blueox hyphen blog. And in that will be various financial wellness tips, cyber security tips, ways to you know, avoid scam tactics, et cetera. Um, so that way you are armed with the information that you need to, to keep your information safe in the digital age. But with that, that does draw us to the close of our first member education seminar. Again, I wanna say thank you all to our RSVPs that joined us for our first ever session. Uh, we hope to see you next time. And if you do have any questions on anything that was covered during this presentation that I did not answer specifically, please do not hesitate to reach out. Again, you can give us a call at 1-800-648-8035. You can even text that same number if you'd prefer. 
You can email us at contact us at blueoxcu.org, or you can shop into any of our branch locations where we'll be happy to help you. But thank you all for coming, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.